Boom. All right, guys, welcome back. Little Toyota Tacoma update. So I went and vacuumed the inside out of this, had a little, little funky odor, nothing terrible. So what I did the uh, couple days before, I got some Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer baking soda, and I sprinkled it in the carpeting, let it sit for a couple days, even did the seats, and uh, came back today, vacuumed it out, worked great, and I also put in one of these fridge products, fridge and freezer, uh, baking soda. And look, it has a little filter on the top so it doesn't spill out. And just shake it up, the baking soda's inside, and it basically, uh, put it on the floor, it would just basically absorb the uh, moisture and the odors in your vehicle and uh, help help neutralize some of that smell of course you got to find if it, you know if it's bad find the source of the smell uh, also as you know on the to toyotas is you got the built-in cab filter open the glove compartment in the back you pop that thing out of the back and there's a little filter you can buy and replace for a couple bucks check that out it's usually full of leaves and bugs and that's your in-cabin filter uh just look in your manual if you don't have a toyota but all toyotas usually have it in the glove box easy to pop out and it's a small like i don't know four by four six by six filter and you get them for like 10 15 bucks to replace them that'll help also neutralize any odors because you know most of those get mildewy full of dirt full of bugs full of leaves always good to clean that out um, but yeah the baking soda is gold versus Versus just putting up a stupid air freshener, which isn't really doing much. The baking soda will get in there and kind of help clean the carpeting and clean your seats. And uh, then you just wipe it off, vacuum it up. And what I also did, I used a, um, a drill brush on a drill bit just to agitate the carpeting to make sure the baking soda got down in there to do its magic. Uh, I just think it was just water and stuff. You know, it gets in there, it gets, gets funky. It wasn't bad, but again baking soda for the win. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave this in the truck and just leave it on the floor or put it somewhere at the lowest point. Yeah, like I said, after you sprinkle this on, let it sit for a few days. If you can, unless you need to drive your car as a daily driver, it's going to be a little more difficult. Try to leave it in for a day. The, the sprinkle part, the powder all over the seats, not too much. Don't go too crazy, but just get it into the carpeting. Let it sit, let it absorb and then vacuum up in a couple days or the next day. Again, I know both people have to use their car day, day, daily, and it's not that easy to just let that crap sit. Uh, and then, yeah, if you get a speeding ticket, the cops will come by and say, what is all that white powder all over the car? And they're going to ask you to egress, egress your vehicle, sir, you know, and then they'll bring in a dog, and the dog will probably go, oh, my God, it's baking soda. And there you go, a little, little tip, not much, but again, the, the cabin filter is key in the glove compartment. Oh, I got a boo-boo. All right, the cabin uh, filter is key in the glove compartment and then the baking soda. Big difference. And I'm just letting it air out now from uh, actually armor alling the dash and that, trying to make sure the fumes get out because I don't want it to bake inside the cab. Because what happens when, you're, when your dash is uh, cooking in the sun, the gases come out of the plastic and the chemicals you use, and then it just kind of sticks and puts a film on your windshield and you get that haze at night when you see the headlights. And that's what that's from. It's just the... Uh, the gases and the stuff coming off the dashboard. And uh, I just want to minimize that. Just let it air out and it'll be good to go. And uh, for reference, this is a, there's a dog. Hey, where are you, dude? Hey, dude. Rocco. So anyway, this is a 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, all maintained up plugs, all fluids. I still have to do the uh, radiator on this one. Eventually, it's not due for a long time, but I may just go ahead and do it. Uh, differential front and rear oil of course all the filters power steering fluid and the uh, transfer case as well do your maintenance your vehicle will last a long time as long as nobody hits it smashes into it rotate your tires too you know make sure they're in good shape you can get a lot of miles out of your tires if you rotate them and uh, the reason is, man, cars today, even though no one's buying them, they're 110000 90000 for a stupid truck. These things, these Tacomas are, what, 55 and up? 
it's just a waste of money. Now they're having engine problems with the Toyotas because of manufacturing or something. So the key is, man, just maintain your vehicles, make them last, and uh, you'll save money. And uh, you yeah, wait till the, uh, the market collapse on vehicles because then maybe in six months you'll be able to get a new Tacoma for like 30000 bucks again. Cause, or just go in and make your offer. I've heard people walking in on a $55,000 Gen 4 Tacoma saying, hey, man, I'm, I'll give you thirty. everything out the door. No games, no bullshit. And uh, you walk out, they'll say, no, of course. And then, boom, you'll probably get a call the next day. All right, we'll take your deal. They got to move the vehicles. They, uh, they have... Um, loans against them floor plans they're paying interest on and uh, they're losing it and uh, manufacturers will not buy them back it's a bloody mess out there with car dealers a lot will go out of business and maybe we'll morph into the tesla selling model where you just go to a store order your car and it gets delivered i mean that may be the future than going to these stupid old school car dealerships where they're trying to scam and ram you uh it's just not good but uh, we'll see what happens economy is about to change Preserve what you got, maintain it, and uh, yeah, don't buy crap you do not need. That's all I got. All right.